Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a video talking about the benefits of vitamin C and how you can incorporate vitamin C products into your daily skincare regime. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first of all, I thought I would just kind of share what I have for makeup today. And I'm wearing the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette, Gingerbread and Spice Palette. I haven't hauled this yet. It'll be in the next haul, but um, I am wearing this. Just give you a little peek. I will tell you that um, for the most part, it's a very beautiful um, eyeshadow palette with the exception of this shade right here, which is Sugar Daddy. That is the most chunkiest gritty fallout eyeshadow I have ever ever used in my whole entire life it is horrible and I don't know why they would have signed off for that shadow to be in this palette when everything else is just really really pretty and um, better quality than that that one right there I don't even want to swatch it for you because I had the most the biggest mess ever with trying to use that this morning and then my lip product I have is from Jueva's Place. Um, it's kind of a spicy brown color. And this is in the color. I can't see it. Let me get my magnifying glass. Sale. Soy. Soil. Soil. S-O-I-L. Soy. Not soy. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> One of those words that I just can't get my my tongue to wrap around it. Anyway, very very pretty shade as you can see. I thought it would look perfect with with this gingerbread palette. Anyway, okay, enough of that. Let's get on with the vitamin C because that's probably why you're here, right? And probably everybody has used vitamin C products. Everybody knows, you know, what vitamin C can do for the skin. It's just a little refresher course. Um, I am. By no means a dermatologist. I do not have all of the um, scientific terms for everything. I just know what works for me and I wanted to share that with you today. So first of all, let's talk about exactly what vitamin C is. Vitamin C is an antioxidant that's gonna to help to protect your face, your skin from free radicals that are in the environment. And these radicals, they cause anti-aging, wrinkles, sunspots, um, hyperpigmentation. They just, they just all attack your skin. Just think of it as little particles in the air that's just constantly attacking your skin. Just like you use a sunscreen to protect your skin from the UVA and the UVB rays, you wanna use an antioxidant product that's gonna help to protect your skin against those free radicals. It also helps with collagen maintenance and production, which um, our skin needs, especially as we start getting older. We, our skin um, stops producing as much collagen. That's how we start getting the wrinkles and the dullness into our skin for anti-aging. So um, what I would start with and what I have been starting with incorporating some vitamin C and you can incorporate vitamin C into your skincare regime very easily. There's a lot of ways that you can do it. Um, some are more beneficial than others, but as a whole, if you're putting all of them together, you're really going to reap the benefits of using vitamin C. So the first product I have is a vitamin C wash. Now this is a product that um, is going to show benefits over time. You're not gonna see immediate results with using a vitamin C wash because the vitamin C for one is probably not the most stable form of vitamin C. Two, um, there's not going to be a whole lot of vitamin C in this product. And three, this vitamin C product is on the skin for a very short amount of time, just the amount of the time that you're using to wash your face. But I really do like this one. This is the Murad Essential C Cleanser. Um, it has a patented antioxidant rich formula that just kind of helps to remove the environmental um, impurities. I like to use this of the morning as my morning time um, wash on my face um, because even if you're 
in your house at night sleeping. Your skin is doing all this um, turnover and of the morning you definitely want to wash your face with a product that's going to help to um, really help um, cleanse the skin and just get everything off the skin the impurities that have create of developed during the night and this has a combination of vitamins a c and e that's going to help to defend the skin from free radicals so even though you're pinning on to your skin you're rubbing it around and then you're rinsing it off there's still going to be a partial amount of this product that's going to penetrate into the skin and it's going to help start building up that defense against the free radicals. So I do recommend a um, face wash that has a vitamin C in it, and I do like this Murad one. This was a deluxe size sample, and I'm just about done with it, and I really do think I will probably be repurchasing that. Another way that you can incorporate um, vitamin C into your skincare is by using vitamin C mask. Um, you all know that I am an avid sheet mask user. Um, I use more sheet masks than I do rinse off mask. So a couple that I can um, tell you about is like one for underneath the eye. This is the vitamin C and collagen eye under eye pads. Um, from the brand Azure. I did pick these up just here recently from TJ, Ma TJ Maxx, not mask, but Max. Um, so if you're looking for a vitamin C or an under eye um, sheet mask, you might want to try and find some that have a vitamin C in them and use these in the morning. I like to use these in the morning and then my moisturizing under eye mask at night. Another one that's a really good one is this one here. And this is from the brand uh, Ro Roju Kiss, I think is how that is pronounced. And the reason why I like this one is it's in a three part. Um, so you have your vitamin C powder that is right up here. So it's not being mixed in with your liquid products until you get ready to mix it and you mix it fresh. So you're getting a fresh dose of vitamin C. Um, if you're not aware, vitamin C is a very unstable um, antioxidant. It has a tendency to oxidize very quickly. So when you're using your um, vitamin C products, um, another tip is not to have too many vitamin C products opened at the same time because most generally they have like a two to three month um, shelf life before they're gonna start to oxidize. Once they start oxidizing, then that just kind of decreases the potency of your vitamin C. So you definitely want to um, start using those in a timely manner not you know open one use it a couple times and open something else and then use it so that's why i like a this sheet mask here is because the vitamin c is separate you mix it in with the essence when you're ready and then you mix it in to the sheet mask and then you put it on you will get a tingling sensation with this mask because you are for, um, mixing your vitamin c fresh so it does have a little bit higher potency than you would say a product that is encapsulated in a serum so i do recommend um, this type of sheet mask another way to incorporate um, vitamin C into your skincare regime and this is probably the most common way that a lot of us use and that is by using a vitamin C serum. Of course there are several several if not hundreds of vitamin C serums out on the market um, anywhere from super high priced like the drunk elephant all the way down to lower priced um, like products from the ordinary um, this one here that I'm using right now is from timeless I just um, pulled it and this is what it looks like here it's around twenty dollars was it twenty or twenty five dollars it was around that price range I can't exactly remember what the price range was but it's definitely no means as high priced as the drunk elephant i have used the drunk elephant two different times i have used two different bottles and um i say this is just as good if not better than the drunk elephant at a fraction of the price but anyway this is a 20 percent vitamin c it has um, vitamin e and ferulic acid in it it comes to you um, mixed fresh from um, the timeless 
company, I recommend that you order it off of the Timeless company and not get in it off of the third um, party websites like Amazon and Walmart um, because they don't guarantee the um, serum to be um, stable. But if you order it from um, Timeless, they do guarantee it to be a stable form of vitamin C and they guarantee it to be fresh. This is a product that once you open it or even once you get it, you need to start using it because it has a shelf life of only about three months. And then it's going to start to oxidize. I do keep mine in the refrigerator and they do recommend um, keeping your vitamin C serums in the refrigerator just to kind of help to extend that shelf life. But this is definitely a very nice serum. It absorbs into the skin very quickly. You can use it AM and PM. I personally like to use my vitamin C products of the AM because in the PM I'm using other types of acids and retinols and I just prefer to use my vitamin C of the morning time. This um, has a 20% concentration of l ascorbic acid, and like I said, it's really good for about a good three months. It may come to you a little bit cloudy, but the company um, says that's okay, that after a couple of weeks, that cloudiness will kind of settle down. Um, they um, manufacture it in small batches so that it does help to extend the shelf life of the product. It's not irritating. I haven't had any tingling with this. And like I said, it absorbs into the skin. So you can definitely um, incorporate a vitamin C serum into your skincare regime. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. Like I said, there's all kinds of vitamin C. Um, serums out on the market you just kind of have to try them and play around with them but I am I am liking that one better than the drunk elephant another way to incorporate vitamin C into your skincare regime is by getting a vitamin C powder um, this is probably going to be the most stable way that you're going to be able to incorporate a vitamin C into your skincare regime because it is a powder this one from the ordinary is 100% lysorbic acid and you just mix it fresh on a daily basis. And the good thing about this product is you can control the amount of vitamin C that you're getting in your, um, your skincare. What you do with this is you just add it into either a serum or a moisturizer, whichever one works the best for you. I've known people to just mix it with a little bit of distilled water and then put it onto the skin that way. It comes with a little scoop. I use a full scoop and I just mix it into, like I said, my moisturizer is how I will mix this in. Um, the Ordinary is probably the most cost effective um, <laughs> product out there um, because I know for years and years and years I have used one from philosophy. Um, it's the, called the Turbo C Booster and have sworn by that for years. And then um, I know Clinique has a product out also that's a vitamin C that you mix fresh as you're using it. And then this one here, this is around $10.00. I think this one works just as well as the one from Philosophy that's around $30, $35. So if you're wanting a vitamin C powder, um, definitely try this one from The Ordinary. I do recommend this one. This one, because you're getting such a full concentration of the um, l ascorbic acid, you will get some tingling on the skin. It is a little bit more harsh, if you will, than one that, say, is um, mixed in with the serum. Um, so like I said, you can definitely adjust the amount. You could do a half a scoop or even a quarter of a scoop until your skin gets used to it. But I personally like using a full scoop, put it onto the skin, and then I'm good to go. So another way, again, is using a powder. Um, probably these two ways here are my absolute favorite ways to incorporate vitamin C. And I will use both of these at the same time. Um, I'll do this and then when I get ready to do my moisturizer, I'll put this into my moisturizer. Whether or not I need the double amount of vitamin C, I don't know. Um, I think my skin looks good after doing that and I like the results and the benefits that I receive from doing it that way. So it may be too much for you. You just kind of have to play around with it. And then the last way to um, 
get vitamin C is by incorporating a, um, a moisturizer that has vitamin C in it, incorporating that into your skin. Now this way is probably going to be a a lower concentrated amount of vitamin C just from the way that it's delivered into the skin or the delivery method I should say from the product and the one I have here is from Papa Recipe and I do have to let you know this was sent to me from um, Octoly and uh, for review purposes and this is kind of what started the whole idea of me doing a vitamin C video because um, when I applied for this I'm like hey I would like to um, receive this and incorporate it into a vitamin C video that I'm thinking about doing you know the benefits of vitamin C so they did send it to me I will tell you out of the three that I'm going to show you this is my least favorite I don't I don't really like this product and the reason why I don't um, it doesn't have a smell and it's just a really nice texture cream. It is moisturizing, but this stuff is so hard to work into the skin. It takes forever to get it to absorb into the skin. So I don't like that. I don't have time in the morning to be sitting and just taking a little bit. It doesn't matter if I use a little bit or if I use a lot and then start rubbing it in. You know how you get those products that when you first put them on and it just looks like a white cream sitting on your face and you just rub and rub and rub and rub to get it in this is the way this is i don't i don't like that for that fact alone um let me tell you a little bit about this product though just in case you would be interested in it that way you kind of know what it's supposed to do and the benefits of using it Okay, this product is um, made with over 70% of calamansi fruit extract, and that's where you're getting your um, vitamin C from, is from the fruit derivative. And um, it's supposed to help for hydration and even, evening out the skin tone, um, including dark spots and hyperpigmentation. I don't know about the claims on that because I haven't used it long enough. I've only used it probably like five times. It's supposed to have a citrus scent to it, according to the um, the website. But I do not, I don't smell anything. Um, it it does not smell like anything at all. So I don't know, I don't know. Maybe mine has gone bad. But I just, um, I usually just do a little bit of this, and it just takes a really, really long time. Okay, now I smell the citrus, but yeah, it just takes a really t long time to get it absorbed into the skin. And so for that reason, I, I just don't, I just can't recommend it to you for that reason alone, because it just takes so long. Um, and the price on that is around $25. So it's a, it's a good price point, and I really, I like, I love the Papa Recipe sheet mask, so I was really kind of disappointed that I didn't care for this. But I'm going to keep using it and um, see how it goes. But I mean, once you get it rubbed in, I mean, it's absorbed. Then it's just getting it into the skin. <laughs> it takes a long time. Anyway, and then the last um, vitamin C product that I have to show you for the skin is this product here from Murad. And again, this is a moisturizer. And this is the Essential Sea Day Moisture with a broad spectrum of SPF 30 in it. So um, you're getting your antioxidant product protection from the free radicals and then you're also getting some sun protection with this i additionally will go in with another sunscreen in addition to this anyway but um again this is just a very nice moisturizer with some vitamin c benefits in there that's going to help with the sunspots and the aging and um, the hyperpigmentation it's very um um, it's not irritating is what I want to say and this one absorbs into the skin a whole lot quicker than than this one here from the Papa recipe and it could have been maybe this is a thinner um, consistency than the Papa recipe but um, there you go with both of those so those are um, some of the um, ways that you can incorporate vitamin C into your skincare and then the last way that I want to talk about vitamin C of course is um, 
taking a vitamin C supplement um, is very important for our immune health. Taking a vitamin C, especially this time of year when colds and flu are just starting to really bear down on us. And the way that I use and incorporate vitamin C is by taking this supplement here, and this is from um, CVS, it's the CVS Health brand, and it's a Super B complex with vitamin C, and it's for energy, metabolism, and immune health. And I take two of these a day, it recommends one, I think, I take two. Um, I like these because even though they have the most god-awful vitamin smell to them ever, when I take them, I don't burp up vitamin taste all day long and you know what I'm talking about that is the worst thing about taking vitamins is you get that vitamin aftertaste with these I don't even though the smell of them you would think that you would because the first time that I got them and opened them up I was like oh my stars I don't know about this but they're okay and they don't make me jittery or anything like that or sick to my stomach sometimes vitamins will make me sick to my stomach and that's what it looks like there so it's not like a huge one to take either and that's another problem with some vitamins they're so big that you can't even get them down but anyway i do recommend um, taking a vitamin c supplement it can be just strictly vitamin c it could be a vitamin c that's incorporated into other vitamin like a multivitamin there but anyway so that is it. That is my video on the benefits of vitamin C, how to incorporate them into your skincare regime. And I hope that you have enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.